In today's video, we are going to be discussing wild bergamot, aka Monarda fistulosa. Here is the native range of this plant according to bonap.org. So, wild bergamot needs full sun or part shade, dry or moist soil, and it thrives in a wide range of soils from acid to lime to ridge to pore to sand and to clay. It's less tolerant of flooding, but can take it in the wintertime. If you want to prevent mildew, provide good drainage and air circulation for the plants. Wild bergamot can get somewhere between 2 to 5 feet tall. I normally see it get between 3 and a half and 4 feet tall in my garden. Um, it's a showy perennial. It's frequently cultivated and it has aromatic leaves used to make mint tea. Oil from the leaves was formerly used to treat respiratory ailments. I notice every spring one of the first things that I just love encountering in spring is the smell of the leaves of this plant. It it just smells so wonderful. So um, when I'm doing any kind of like pulling of like spring weeds or anything like that, I am smelling these leaves and it's just, it's divine. One more really important thing to note is that hummingbirds love this plant and so do butterflies. So if you love hummingbirds and butterflies, definitely want to have this plant in your garden. When wild bergamot first buds out, it looks like this right before it bursts into bloom. And when it bursts into bloom, it looks like this. This is a very up close shot, of course, and I kind of describe it as fireworks display because to me, that's what each little bloom looks like, like a fireworks just exploded. And I just think that the blooms are beautiful partially because they are one of my favorite colors. Um, but also, the leaves smell amazing. And as you can see, <laughs> one year my hair was pink and actually matched the pink of the blooms, kind of a lilac-y pink purple. And here you can see that it can look like a shrub, even though it dies back to the ground each year. And the blooms, just the spray of blooms, I love it so much. And I just love how the leaves, like the shapes of the leaves, the smell of the leaves, everything. And here you can kind of see the height of it compared to some like poppies and cosmos and things like that. It does get a little, a little leggy at the bottom, but I don't really mind that, especially if I have plants growing around it and through it. And here's my husband for another height um, example. This one got really, really tall. Definitely looked like a big shrub. Um, and then here it is next to an American black elderberry and next to like red buds and plums and all that good stuff in our habitat hedge. And then here's one more image of it in the habitat hedge next to some mountain mint. And that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I just added some new original paintings to the shop. Go to macylou.com to check out the new pieces. I also have prints available as well as different categories of products. I have a $12 and under section and a $25 and under section as well because I believe every human being deserves to have art in their home and to feel cozy and comfortable wherever they live. I also have a contact page where you can easily get in touch with me at your convenience for art commissions and business inquiries. Just put a quick subject line such as, hey, I'd like an art commission, and then in the message section, put in detail about what type of commission you are wanting. Also, feel free to use the contact form as a way to ask any questions you may have about the art or the shop. Thanks for all of your support, no matter what form it takes. To support the channel, like the video, comment, and subscribe. You can also support my work by buying art from me at macylou.com. Thanks for watching!